was her ex-husband, Stephen Williams. Williams to confess to murder. Prosecutors made a plea deal with him, offering him 35 years for second-degree murder if he took them to her body. That's when they learned he had dismembered her body and buried her in a tub of acid. Sheriff Snyder says Trisha's story could help others. Relationships are hard. If they were easy, then everyone would do them. That's why they don't last, because some people don't want to deal with the hard stuff. When it's easy, it's really easy. But it's not always easy. And I think some people just give up in relationships when they get hard. As soon as they hit a bump in the road, they just call it quits. But what's the point of that? I mean, you already, you got that far. You want to just give up, because sometimes it's not worth trying. Like if they cheat on you and murder you, fuck that, bye. If anyone ever tried to kill me, I'd be like, mm, I don't think this is working out. Maybe we should see other people. But if it's just like you guys don't see eye to eye, that's, that's not worth burning down the bridge that you just built. Alina Shaquette and Darby met at the University of Pittsburgh Greensburg campus where both were students and Darby was on the basketball team. Darby was arrested on rape and other charges. Shaquette's body was found lying on the floor of her Oakland apartment by her parents. She died of a blow to the head. Williams knocked her to the ground here on Corning, pulled down her pants, got on top of her and began choking and biting her. Williams is accused of vandalizing the property of two women who refused to go out with him. DNA evidence helped them link 33-year-old Keith Asbury to the crime. According to investigators, Asbury forced his way into the apartment of two women in 2005, shortly after they got home. He then robbed them and then sexually assaulted one of the victims before taking off in their car.